What's up guys, Zfarls here with another Mutt review. A big day in Ultimate Team. Friday we get the Scouting Combine coming out and we've got Campus Heroes. So we'll talk about this Chris Johnson in just one second. But first things first, the new Campus Heroes. CJ Mosley picks up an item, 88 speed, 98 pursuit, 94 block shed. Let's check his strength. Only 73 strength, so that block shed makes him a real good run defender, and he's a little bit slower, so you'd be willing to go with this if his strength was a little higher as a pure run defender. You love the tackle, love the pursuit, love the block shed, love the hit power, love the power move, love the play rec. Everything's great, but if he gets to that edge with that strength, is he going to get hit back? And is he also going to be fast enough to get there with 88? That's just on the brink. At this current price, not uh, the C.J. Mosley is not there yet. But he's he was known last year as one of the best middle linebackers in the game for computer play, so maybe he's a guy you give a shot there once his price comes down to 60 k or so. If. Uh, Matty Ice. So Matt Ryan, at the start of this year, was a card that I loved. Um, 94 throw power, 93 short, 95 mid, 96 deep, 75 speed. This is a great item. The throw on the run's a little low, but the play action is good. He's coming out at 60K, which means he's going to get a lot lower. I would compare him to the Romo, to the Winston. We gave our top five quarterbacks under 50K last night on This Week in Madden, so you can catch that on YouTube on this channel. So look at that and compare them, but that ice is good. Marquise Pouncey, center with 95 strength, 95 run block. I mean, that's right up there. Plus, he has 98 impact which isn't going to factor in a ton for a center, but it could, you know, you could find a role for it. So if you can't afford the Saturday and you need 95 strength in the middle, this new Pouncey becomes very, very valuable to your team as a run blocker. And he's not a bad pass blocker either. So I like that Pouncey. San Antonio Holmes has 97 speed with 98 spec. His catching traffic's a little low and doesn't have the route running or the lease, but if you can find a role for him with 97 speed, that's pretty saucy i know there's a lot of good cheap 97 speed guys out there but they don't have 98 spec yes he's shorter yes he doesn't have the catch and traffic to balance it but um pretty decent he's a he's a not an every down player though unfortunately and then raheem moore i'm just gonna graze over this item 88 speeds a little too slow at this point for free safety i like the 92 zone but the Quinn's, I think, going to be better than this guy unless he has some some other hidden ratings. But I'm going to take the Quinn over him. Now, going back into the scouting combine, this year program is different, it says. And each combine base player has three combine warriors, each representing a different combine drill. They can be unlocked using the new sets dedicated to that player. You will need to combine that player's base combine item along with 14 combine collectibles. Which of the three combine worries you receive as a set reward for a given player is random. All right. And they can be found directly in packs for a limited time. So the master is Chris Johnson. Let's just not waste any time, guys. I want to bring you value on this YouTube channel. I don't want to sit here and go over Chris Johnson last. He's going to be hard to get. But he's got 100 speed. I think he had 102 last year. So just having 100 speed is good. Uh, but he's got 98 agility, 100 acceleration. His route running is 84. His catching traffic is 85, 97 carry, 98 elusive. So we look at this Chris Johnson. He's better than Barry Sanders. So we have a new Barry Sanders in town. He gets a little more route running. He's not folk level, but he's close. Uh, he's up there with that Charles now. It's kind of that range of back. He's the rich man's Charles. I would like to see 98 agility is good. I, I value agility more than acceleration, but I know everyone that used flashback Chris Johnson did like his acceleration uh, once you get used to it. So looking at this Chris Johnson, um, not going to fight for extra yards. And I don't know if that's what's going to be his downfall, similar to how I kind of downfall with Barry right now because Barry's getting tackled at the down marker and not getting forward. He's getting stuck in inches a lot fourth and inches, third and inches. So that's why I've kind of switched back to the bow a little bit. But I like the 98 elusive. He's going to break a lot of tackles with that. Pretty much the complete package. I can't really nitpick too much on this CJ2K. 
Um, it's just that his cost is going to be, you know, the deterrent. But are you looking at the new best halfback in Ultimate Team? Every down basis? Yes. Okay, so limited edition Combine Warriors. I don't know if these are the only two that are out right now. If there will be more, it seems to have a date, so maybe they'll have more going forward. I do not know. But Leron Landry, anytime Leron Landry gets an item, I'm a fan because he has 100 hit power. Also has 95 speed. 93 strength is amazing for that position. Very good block shed. Uh, we talked about the hit power. Play rec and zone are never going to be his things, but if you like to use a free safety or a strong safety and you want to put Landry there, uh, this could be the guy for your defense. Um, I still think the Sean Taylor is going to give you a lot of the bang for the buck, as Landry will give you for less of a cost if you want to use your strong safety, say you're running 3 3 5 odd. But um, it's totally up to you. But this Landry is very formidable. Torrey Smith, 97 speed. Uh, this Landry is only 6 feet tall. So just another factor to keep in. He's not Taylor Mays. Those are the two guys we kind of go back and forth on. They kind of are those super fast athletic players with big hip power that people like to use her, but the Maze is the taller version. Torrey Smith, 97 speed. 98 spec, 95 catch in traffic. Wow. This is the rich man Santonio Holmes. This is the guy you'd rather have. The route running's a little low. I want to see him be 96. But... That, that's a pretty nice combo to mix in with 97 speed. You don't, It's kind of rare you get that blend of speed with that spec and catch in traffic for a shorter receiver. So he could be your streak guy, and if he's going downfield, if you want a rack catch, you're going to try and beat people deep with 97 speed. But then say it ends up being one-on-one, -on -one, you could spec and catch in traffic. So I actually like this Torrey Smith uh, pretty nicely. All right, the rest of the Combine Warriors are here. Uh, Bruce Irvin, so his base, not, I'm not really going to go over the base items, but it looks like the three-cone drill is the highest rated. He's got 95 speed instead of 94 that the 40-yard dash has. Uh, so let's click in because we don't want to really miss any ratings. I was thinking his agility was going to be higher on this item because it's the three-cone, and that's sometimes what's tied to agility. 95 speed, 96 excel, 94 hit power, 90 block shed. So if we compare, I mean, the 90 Urban was an item that a lot of people liked. You know, he's gone up a bit. He's gone up 3 Excel, 5 Speed, some Hit Power, 3 Points. He's got 98 Power Move and 85 Finesse with 99 Pursuit. Uh, the ideal role for this item is rushing the passer, but he's a Power Move rusher who's extremely fast but it's not he's not going to hold up the edge but he's going to shed blocks out there so he's not an edge setting defender but he is going to shed some blocks and be in the backfield so if you maybe like to legitimately rush an, an edge rusher like a von miller like all the roles we've talked about von miller using on this channel um you know maybe he's your guy you don't really want to drop him in to coverage every down, but at 81, that's pretty darn good. We gave homage to Jason Taylor at 82 zone coverage, dropping him off the line. Um, and this Irvin has 95 speed. So if you can't afford a Von Miller and this Bruce Irvin comes down a little bit, he could be your guy. That's the three cone edition, the 40 yard dash edition. See, he doesn't have the zone, doesn't quite have as much strength. Doesn't have the block shed, so you don't really want the 40-yard dash version. That's kind of a big deal, uh, that block shed level being 90 versus 82. I like that they did that. That actually puts some value in between uh, those two items. Uh, lastly, the 20-yard shuttle drill. This thing has no strength, 77. Block shed's higher. Speed's not there, though. So there's you're going to want to check which one you get. Obviously, the highest rated one did appear to be the best from what we saw. Kelsey, I mean, you can't use this one. Wow, okay, this 97 20-yard shuttle is good for center. We just talked about the pouncy, though. I think the pouncy is about the same. If you Venn diagram the balance out, he's a little stronger, a little low, little one less pass block, but one more run block, so... 
I would go there or whichever's cheaper. It's totally your call on whichever's cheaper. But yeah, you can only use the 20 yard shuttle one. You can't use any of the other ones, in my opinion, uh, because you could find better value. Brandon Cooks, 98, oh, 99 speed. They did it. They went there. 99 speed, 96 wide receiver. All right, so he has 97 spec, 94 catching traffic. 95 route running, you couldn't give him 96. Once again, that's my own personal like thing I like is 96. But, I mean, 99 speed makes him basically the fastest receiver in the game. <sighs> this guy's going to be a force. Uh, let's see if the 40-yard dash version. He has 98 speed, but only 85 route running. This is a drag guy. So if the 40-yard dash version ends up costing way less, he's a for 40K, he's a drag monster. So maybe you get Brandon Cook's 40-yard for drag monster, 60-yard for kind of all-around downfield. I like it. I mean, 99, we haven't really tested that, but that's maybe the new 97. Because 97, Perryman used to get you beat downfield. But then it kind of, once the defender's speed's kind of all caught up, it stopped. And now you got, maybe it's 99 to be able to beat guys over the top. Who knows? We got to test that. But wow, that's something, it's an item we haven't seen yet. I can't just be like, oh, that card has the same and it's better. So, But this this guy does something unique. All right, Charles Johnson, I'm going to guess it's not going to be good, but we'll test it. Um, nothing there. Okay, broad jump, 98 power move. Going to pass. And then the bench press, okay, here it is. So 96 strength, Charles Johnson. 96 hip power, 99 power move. Only 88 block shit. I think for 100K, like you get the strength edition of Jason Taylor. You get the strength edition Terrell Suggs. You're kind of like in that same mold where you can do better. Uh, 99 power move isn't like, he's not the only guy with this, so I would pass on Charles Johnson. And it's just another example of an item I didn't really love at the start of the year. He's getting a lot of items, but they're not that great because of his base and how it's built up over time. It's just a prediction. It's like an opinion thing, but we'll see. All right, RG3 got an item. Can't wait to see this. Broad jump edition can't play. Vertical edition, eh, getting warmer, but can't play. 40-yard dash, they gave him 95. Okay, that's respectable. Um, what's the difference between this version and his flashback? So his flashback, he's gained plus two speed. He's gained, okay, he's actually gained... Three medium and sixty. So he. So this is the more viable RG three. I would say at this point his flashback can't play. While I don't love paying extra for ninety five speed because it doesn't really get you anything. The real question is: Is this guy better than Marcus Mariota? And I would say no. Is because the medium. And then is he better than Freeze Randall? I would say no. Because I think Randall's got the higher deep. And yes, there's some speed there, but realistically, speed, we've talked about it a lot on this channel, a lot on the Mudcast. Like, QB speed is easy to lock up this year with Spy. So, you'd be paying a premium. And I think you can do better at quarterback at this point in the season. But it's a cool item. And it's cool um, that he's got a couple different versions, but really, only the 40 yard dash version is viable. I can't really recommend. This item's not bad. The 92 is not bad. Like, 87, 86. I think you would, eh, he's only got 93 throw power. I think if you wanted to really use an RG3, you'd pick, if the 92 is way less than the 96, I think you'd just use the 92. Because you're really not getting any, you're getting five more short, but you're already at 90, so three more throw power. Anything you can do with 95 speed, you should be able to do with 93 speed. I would say that get, just get the Mariota. All right, Bud Dupree is a sleeper user item. We were talking about the difference between him and the Anthony Barr. 
All right, so the 40-yard dash version has 94 speed, and so does the broad jump version. So the 94 speed, 79 strength, 86 block shed. So you'd have to use her this guy, otherwise he, because he, he can't play coverage, he can't play the run game, so you have to use her to take advantage. So I'm going to pass for there for now. Let's see if the broad jump version is that much better. Can he be played on his own? 94, 96. The bar is a little taller, right? I'm not sure. Dupree's height. Um, I'm sure he's got the jump. So this one, yeah, better power move, more block shift, more strength. This guy could actually play on his own 80 zone like he's just on the threshold of starting to be a player who could play on his own at this point in the year uh, obviously you're better off using a guy like this great speed great excel yeah i mean you kind of got to go here and if you're getting him him for much less than bar um bar i've had trouble user controlling personally so i think you go with this you can't get this vertical addition because you could always just use the Shazier. This is going to be pretty similar to the Shazier because they have that 94 speed. He's 6'4". All right. Dupree is the right size. He's not He's not 6'5", but he's 6'4". So that's great. Yeah, this is a great user. Um, and if you want to try the 40 yard and see if that strength and block shit isn't going to factor in because you're getting six more on this item and you're getting two more block shed and two more hip power, I think you might try this 40-yard dash guy and see if that strength is worth paying extra for. Because you're still getting the height, you're still getting the speed. It looks like the price isn't that much different. I'm trying this item before I go to the more expensive Dupree or the higher-rated Dupree uh, if the price is worth it. So that's my thought. I'm doing it. I'm trying it. That's that's the value in a user. But if you want to let him play on his own, it's got to be this guy. And lastly, Jared Cook. So Jared Cook has a speed addition, 93 speed on his highest rated version. I still think for what this guy does, release does not matter to me at tight end because I'm going to play him on the line. He's going to get not really uh, pressed, so I'm okay. 93 speed in the seam, 89, uh, 91, 97 is dope. 91, 85 is nothing spectacular. 74 strength is kind of weak. 86 strength, 89 run block. This bench press edition, there's better run blockers. Even though 86, 89 is good, but then you lose all your other ratings. So he becomes just a blocker, and you can get better just blockers. A vertical edition would be the one to get. He can't block, but he's pretty good at everything else. I'm not paying for this cook because you're paying for release, and I just don't value it. 93 speed is great and it's good for drags but you could always just play a wide receiver if you wanted to or if not you just get the ladarius green you find other great value speed tight ends and don't pony up extra um the cost is currently 17 that's too much so it's totally up to you on the cook 97 91 is good for 101 downfield he's 65 93 speed i mean yes very very formidable but the Delaney Walker's been playing good for me, and he has better strength and run block on his version that's like this. So you'd really have to need a specific role. But maybe the, I think the Vernon Davis probably still a little bit better. 90 route running's good. Does it win you on corner routes against a corner versus against a... It, I mean, 90 will beat you if they're using, using a linebacker or safety, but it might not beat a CB. So you'd have to test it. And that's something we'll be looking to do. So that's kind of the quick look at today's scouting combine, some cool items, and then also the look at the Campus Heroes for the weekend. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, give us a like and subscribe to the channel. We'll be playing this weekend on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Tips. Hopefully testing out a few combine items and let us know who you want to see. We'll do our best to get some reviews up for you. Maybe the Chris Johnson. Test him versus Barry. Test him versus Bo. See if we do indeed have that new best back in the game. See if that Brandon Cooks 99 speed can burn people. 
Uh, see if that Torrey Smith, see if that Bud Dupree is a better use than Anthony Barr. Those are all things we'll be looking to check on, and we want to hear your feedback on it. So until next time, guys, like the channel, and we'll see you soon.